All right, guys, right here in this giant box here, I just got the corner of it here. You can see how big it is, are all the primal miniatures. The final, final, final version <laughs> that you guys are getting. There's a ton in here. They're going to be really cool. I can't wait to show. Again, this is, they've all been made, a lot of them have been made bigger, stuff like that. I know a lot of you guys have been wondering about the shipping and stuff like that. So this might help you determine if it was worth it or not. Okay, now I'm actually gonna like cut the camera here, mainly because in here, if I open this up and don't hit the camera, you're gonna see there's just a ton of like packaging material and stuff like that to keep them all safe. So I'm gonna open them up. They're like wrapped in bubble wrap and stuff. And then we're gonna get to them here on the table and pretty much a snap of my fingers, but for me, it'll be a lot longer. Wow, have these come a long way indeed. All right, so let's, I guess, just go ahead and get started. Just gonna move a lot of these apart. I will say, just taking these out, one thing I noticed is how much they've worked on the spikiness of it, depending on what they want to do. So um, there's definitely been a lot of changes uh, there. So let's take a look at the snake. Now this snake has gone through uh, uh, quite a few changes. Uh, some from my suggestion, some from theirs. A size difference is definitely there. Uh, so this is a lot bigger than it was originally. And again, all this is exactly what you guys are gonna get when it comes to the quality and stuff like that. This right here, this texture has been enhanced a little bit, so it's looking quite good. Um, it kind of really fits in with all of that. Um, there's a little bit of a crease here from that versus that. And again, right here, a little bit of softness here, um, but nothing too bad there. And, I, and in the end, I think it fits pretty well. One of the things they did was enhance all of these uh, like markings and stuff. So on the back here, there was quite a few spots uh, where this wasn't marked as well. And so that's now been, again, an enhanced uh, quite a bit more. Uh, this lines up pretty well. There's, again, this is a separate piece and doesn't quite connect too well, but otherwise that's okay. Some texture has been added to the end of this, which is nice. Um, I'm seeing, I know this was a soft part before and that's a lot more uh, defined now. It looks like, again, so there's like kind of a piece here and it looks like Right where this like crease line is, there's a little bit of lost detail right there, but everything around it, um, again, looks a lot more detailed, which is good. These eyes look fantastic. They look really good. Let me zoom in a little bit more for you guys, and then I'll just really try to stay in camera. That's the goal, right? That's the goal. Okay, there we go. These eyes look great. The little venom sack things look great. This teeth are actually like really good now. All of those look really, really good, really crisp. The whole inside of the mouth, especially all these little spots here, remember particularly looking at that, looks good. Also the claws look good. Um, just the the like, the like way that his skin reacts to like climbing over or around, <sighs> these little thing, I swear, this stuff everywhere now, um, looks really good. It, it just, it all looks really good. This is actually a really, really nice one. Uh, a little bit of a mold line there, nothing too bad. And the assembly looks really good also. So very cool. All right, that is the snake. And again, I mean, that is, he's he's pretty hefty now, which is nice. Um, let's take a look at the turtle, mainly because I can comment on these. These are like, it, this hurts to move. This actively does not feel good. It is sharp. Like these, these are no joke. I could, if I pushed hard enough, I guarantee I would bleed. Like, I'm not even kidding. These are that sharp. Um, pretty darn impressive. Jeez. Uh, yeah, they've, they've done a lot of work on that. <laughs> a lot of work. See, with all these little dots here, those have come out really good. I remember that was something we've worked on a lot too. Oh, I guess, disclaimer, um, I did work with Reggie Games on taking their sculpts they already had. So again, I wasn't in charge of any of that. I wasn't in charge of anything and just consulting on trying to get some details, working with the manufacturer to get those details into the final form. And that took iteration upon iteration upon iteration to get them to this quality. And it's really good now, it really is. But uh, it definitely took some work, some back and forth to get it to where it is now. And during the process, they were able to do all the play testing and stuff like that, and uh, also increase the size uh, uh, pretty much across the board, some quite a bit more than others. Anyway, Turtle comes like that again. I love the little mud kind of like bulge that comes out from there, or like the slide and so it just, that looks really good. 
His little teeth that he has here, again, came out quite good. So I'm really happy about all those. Again, all of these little spikes here came out good. Um, this little uh, line here for his shell, nice and reinforced. I really do like that. That looks good as well. Um, yeah, all of this is great. All of this, again, really craggly. That uh, was made really good. And again, these spikes. Oh, my goodness. These, again, when we, when we first got them, every single spike was like super dull. And so we really kind of work to make those sharper. They've come a lot. Yeah, this is like actively painful. Like this is as sharp as like what I feel like chaos minis are from like Warhammer 40,000. <laughs> like when it comes to like, you know, you like pick them up and you get poked. That's this guy here. <laughs> My goodness. All right. Uh, let's do this one. This is a fun one. This is the little crab guy. And again, getting the detail on all of this like coral stuff was uh, tantamount to this one. It really was. And I think they've done a great job with it here. It looks really, really good. Everything's nice and, whoop, I almost dropped them. Really crisp here. Uh, and I don't see a loss of detail like, anywhere in any of the different various kinds here. All the different layering of the plate here looks good. Um, this is like it, textured here now. So it's not just like some flat thing instead of like, looks like it's cut rough from stone, which is good. So I do like and appreciate the texture that was added there. These little mandibles here. And again, just the, the eye sockets and stuff looks so good. So good. The, the claws, those look strong and powerful and those are fun. Those are cool as well. Of course, look at this tiny coral here. And again, all the different, like, just, it, it's good. It's it's great there. It really is. Now, I can't remember. Yeah, okay, so that is attached there in a very sneaky way. Again, right here. Um, in a very natural way uh, to where it doesn't seem like bad at all. I think it actually looks really good when it comes to that. But yeah, this, the, the, the just all, all the texture here. So good. So good. What a fun one. All right, there's that. Uh, let's see. Let's do a, a one that's a lot smoother. Here's a bug. So... This was key. This right here. Do you see that? These wings came out great. They are, um, I believe, ABS, which is why, again, it's shiny versus not shiny, and why it's so skinny and why it just kind of pops back in place. But these are some of the best wings on a mini like this I have ever seen because often they're really thick and they just don't look like a bug wings. These actively do in a really good way. And again, all the bulbous stuff here looks great. These being separate, but you know, still really close together and being well-defined, those look really good. Um, all the different legs and claws and stuff and little barnacles and stuff look good. These ridges here, the connecting pieces to like the abdomen and thorax and stuff came out really nice. That looks great. Even the in-between pieces here. Yeah, all the ridges here came out good. Texture on here, nice and faint and subtle, which is the way I think it should be but still definitely there. That looks cool. Yeah, I like this one. And again, these these freaking teeth came out awesome. Super duper cool. All right, uh, let's do feathers next. This was a fun one. And again, took a lot of work, a lot of work to get it to where it is now. This was probably one of the ones I remember working on the most out of all of them. And again, this is not even all of the, the ones. These are just like the final ones that have either had some changes done, size increases, and you're gonna see that in a few of these as well, uh, especially the next one I'll point out has really increased a lot. This one though, again, just the, the, the definition of all of these, if you recall, before there was some soft ones here, and that's now been improved. Every time I do an unboxing and I see the final version, the physical version of it, I'm able to look at it, they would go back and improve it. And I mean, it. the, the end result is you get the, just crispness everywhere, which is nice. The tongue, again, that's great, of course. These little like ten, tendrils and stuff like that or whatever, those came out good. These, the separation between these feathers and these feathers also came out good. And in addition, these feathers are now textured in a really good way, whereas they weren't for a while there. So, um, yeah, it, it's just, it's really, really good. They all feel different and distinct, and so that's really good. They all have kind of clear lines and you know of separation and stuff like that. And they just they look a lot better, in my opinion. I I really do think that. On the back side too, again, you kind of have that here. Uh, additionally, these feathers here are better now as well. A lot of them were really, really smooth, and now they've almost had like a almost a brush stroke 
going over them uh, that I think gives them a nice look because they're supposed to be like really flat kind of body feathers versus these like peacock kind of feathers that you got going on here. So that was good. Um, the texture to non-texture I think is really smooth now and this uh, transition is a lot better as well. Uh, I, I just feel that looks a lot better. It's a little perhaps tiny bit of muddy right there but otherwise pretty okay. And I, it just kind of goes to show that um, you can work on something to death and eventually you just kind of have to say, yeah, that's good. Uh, feathers, I was really big on feathers not going over the line. Like, let's try to make the line kind of go in between the feathers but still make it look believable. I think they did a good job of that, so that's pretty good. I will say that I think there's a little bit more of a noticeable difference on this one when it comes to smoother versus non-smoother. This one I think blends it a little bit better. Yeah, these scales right here are like really, really good. This kind of faint look of these feathers to these feathers, I think is a nice little touch. And his like broken weird finger things are disgusting still. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's that one. So that one's fun. This is the one I was talking about. This one has increased in size by quite a bit. I don't know if you recall the first time I showed this off, but it was, it feels like it was half the size. Like no joke, it was a lot smaller. Um, so he's really increased. He now kind of reminds me a lot of like Sif, the wolf from uh, Dark Souls 1. Uh, hopefully it's not as sad of a fight as that one. That's one of the saddest fights I've ever had in my entire life. Dear Lord, way to make me feel bad just because I want to beat all the bosses. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but this honestly really really good so not only is the size increased but again texture kind of across the board has been touched up worked on um the placement of these was something i think we did two or three passes on just making it look really good of like a profile there right while still looking you know like random and stuff like that while still being able to actually like be cast and made and not have too many overlaps and stuff like that or too many pieces. And I think they did a good job on it. I think they honestly uh, did pretty good. I love that the ears from the top look like these and you flip them over and you see that, nope, they're actually ears. I do like that. Again, these teeth came out really, really great. The eyes came out really great. The teeth were a big thing. We were f uh, very focused on the mouth of every single one because they need to look menacing. They need to look scary and like, you know, like, like, like they're actually going to like grab you and bite you and stuff. So that was important to get those really well. Uh, the hair here, again, same thing. I wanted the hair to go across the body parts in a way that looked really good. Um, so it looked like this is almost a fold of muscle versus anything. So you'll see them actually hit this and see like this one here and then kind of come up over like, like as if, you know, this is a, a shoulder joint kind of thing, right? And it's just kind of moving from that. I think they did a pretty good job on it. Again, these, um, the little flares on the back, that was important as well. So that's really big, of course. Um, and then of course the, the, the tail here, getting these lines nice and good here. And then also still here, but it looks like it's all flaring out. That was kind of a big thing too. And the claws, especially the ridge in between the, 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 the nail part of the claw and the paw, you have this like little line that you see in all these. And that's something I wanted to enforce too, because sometimes it almost looks like the toe, it just goes there. I wanted to make sure, no, that's a claw that you're seeing. So no, that's something that's important there. A little bit of touch up here on the base. We'll cut that off um, and be good as new. Just a little, little tiny sprue bit there. All right, let's see what else do we got here. Let's look at this bad boy. Now this guy, again, just looks like texture, like headquarters here. Um, when it comes to all these like little craggly bits and stuff like that, so good. Again, getting these to look like really good fins that have an, uh, uh, like they're not supposed to be super sharp or pointy, but at the same time, they do supposed to kind of taper off. And I think that ended up really good. Thickness of the wing, I think is good. I do like that. These little bits here on the wing look great. There's a clear line now between these ridges where like the, I don't know, like the, the fingers are where the claws come out versus not. So that came out really good, I think. Um, again, all the teeth look awesome. That's super important. These um, horns came out really good. Again, they just, just texture deepened over and over and over again to make sure it looks really good. This was a little bit smooth before. That's now well-defined. So that's great to see on both of these. That black fuzz, I swear. All right. Uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot to say about it. It just looks great. Again, same thing here where you see all these coming out there. It looks more like a natural, like, 
oh, his body is shaped this way, so these layer on or fold in ways that make sense. That was kind of the point, as opposed to just sculpting it and then just drawing a line through them, essentially. I think that's it just looks a lot better. It's one of those things where you take it from the digital format and then you make it physical, and the physical realities are pieces and putting them together and stuff like that. So having it all fit so well is really, really important. One trick I've always liked about this, it's split right here for the tail right at the edge of this. And I think it fits so smoothly that in fact, you, I think a lot of people are going to look at this ridge here that it, you know, which is really the base of the tail and think that's where the piece is. No, it's actually down here, but you can see that the ridges are kind of separated slightly there because that part of the tail would also like move. And that's like the, really the start of it. So just, little details like that. I notice those a lot when I'm painting. So if I don't paint it, it, it is a little bit more difficult to look at something and you know, you're not looking at that detail. Oh, this and that and that looks great. It's awesome. I love it. All right, let's look at, oh, see, I like this guy's face. So let's look at him. So this is uh, uh, one of the guys that, again, they've increased the size of, but they've really increased it to really focus, I think, on this. Doing it because this is a weapon that he uses and you can see how that would be very intimidating. It's not like the size of the person that's fighting it, um, which is just awesome. Again, the teeth look great. These flaps here look really good. Uh, this one, folding this one out while this one was bent back makes it look a lot better. Uh, of a profile again, I think before this was also back and sort of flared out and so it looked like you know it, it, it just looks silly to have this one popped out not this one So I think that one looks really good and again kind of separates it from him as well Again seeing these ridges. I'm really proud of this one here It almost looks like it overlaps. That's because it's it, again. It's slightly whoop, Just cuts out like that instead of that straight line, which is what the every factory will want to do You're like no no no, no. have a kind of blip there so you get that little bit of overlap looks awesome really helps sell the deal having the fur again go this way and then this way clearly defines oh hey this is like a leg joint i think a lot of those things are very important this right here lines up pretty good across the board i don't think it's quite perfect but i think a lot of it is again this is not one piece this is a piece here a piece here and a new piece here and so it can almost look like in my opinion the before it's painted right because you do kind of see the line a little bit that it's like, oh, it like didn't align up, but these are not the same strand. That was the point. New strands so that it, especially once you you actually start painting and stuff, it's gonna blend right in. Look really good. Super cool. Okay, there's that one. Let's look at this other C guy here. This is another one, super spiky. These things like cause you physical pain when you, when you touch them, which, you know, there, there, there's a debate there, right? It's like at, the, at one point, you don't want to make anything dangerous, right? You want to like play fine. You don't have to grab it there, but I, it, it looks so good. I cannot stand when like teeth and claws and stuff are like super rounded and like look toyish. Um, no part of this looks toyish to me. It definitely looks like this is the real deal. And I really like that. Okay, separating this again, that was really big. You might remember I did that it was originally. Not only did they attach it to the leg, but they attached it to the leg and like had to like warp into it. So we like brought the actual tail out a little bit. That helped that kind of come out because otherwise you're, you're, you're putting this at a weird angle. So we actually adjusted the tail a little bit to work on that. The splashing here looks great, by the way. I do appreciate that. That's really cool. Uh, the tapering of this to, to make it kind of finny. Uh, I think it looks really good. The layers look good on there. All the various outcroppings randomly look good. This little like stuff here on the leg, uh, like I don't know if it's like coral or what necessarily you would call that. It looks really good. The fins here look great. Um, the teeth here are a little bit different, but they still come to this nice little point. Um, but they're like this, like, I don't even know what you would call it. I guess closer to like shark teeth almost. The tongue, all that sculpted and stuff like that, super important, of course. Um, yeah, just really, really cool. A really fun one. Um, definitely one of my favorites, actually. I think it's just super, super cool. Love the, the four like wing looking kind of things there. All right, we got this bad boy here. You might remember him. He's got like the longest tail in existence. Um, I love how far, uh, that comes off the base. I think that's great. These ridges here, again, we worked really good on that and really making it 
um, come to the the points that we wanted. Again, not super sharp. This is not meant to do that. It's more like craggly spikes, not spikes, but like ridges, right? These like ridges versus like a, a total spike. But getting that to look like that with that little profile there like that, again, super big on that there. Making these really defined, all the claws. Um, I know a few of these needed work last time, so it's good to see all of these doing quite well. Again, the assembly looks really good too. Very crisp lines seem to kind of follow natural muscle and stuff like that. So that's good. The tail here, again, they extend the tail and then add it. And I really do like that. And again, it's right at a ridge. So you, especially from the top down, you don't see that line at all because this is covering it up. It's, it's literally there and you just can't even know. From the side, you can see a little bit, but again, primate paint it, you're not gonna notice it at all. The idea was you don't need any like Vallejo putty to really fill this in. A primer alone should be enough. And I think they did a good job on all that. Um, yeah, so he's really cool. He's got all these lines and we enhanced that a little bit as well. Just the overall texture on the body. Um, very, very fun. All right, we got, oof, again, the spikes, my goodness. This one, this is the little cat thing. Again, I think done really well. Uh, the claws here wrapping around there like that, having the, it really grip it was a key thing for me. I really wanted to do that. And these cracks here, what I wanted is to be able to put a wash on this and have it just seep in there. And the wash has already done what you want to do on that. And that's totally done it. If you want to paint it, make it bright, something like that, your brush should naturally follow this line with fair ease. Again, no press too hard, of course, but it should just naturally follow that in a pretty good way. Then you might even get some OSL as the, depending on the size of the brush you use um, and kind of what you're painting with, how watered down and all that. Um, but either way, that's there. Again, these spikes, important to come to a point, right? It's got to be some kind of weapon. The horn is really cool and it's got some great texture on it. All these like little layer lines on it. This like mange of like fiery kind of spiky, you know, hair stuff. Again, looks great. Again, assembly, fantastic. Some of the best assembly I've seen when it comes to parts, especially on a smooth part like that. Really, really good. And again, size increase. This is now much larger than it was before. And I think that's super duper important. I don't get all the claws getting it well defined also. Okay, we got two more here. We got the the main guy here. And as you can see, the detail level on these wings is just so good now compared to what it was the first time. Um, really, really, really good. And this, again, it was important to like have these ridges be really well defined. So that's all now actually defined. You can see that really well. So that's good to see. I really appreciate that. That helps a lot. Uh, all of these spikes look good. The spikes are going to be coming out. And this texture on this tail, I, I dig it's so good. And again, the assembly. I'm, I'm, I can't get enough of the assembly. These look like one solid piece pretty much. Um, there is a little bit of gap on this one. It's probably actually, and again, the fact that I went through all of this, and this is the first one I even really noticed, uh, pretty darn good, I would say. Um, again, claws, all of those are really, really well defined. All the muscle and stuff here looks really cool. I love the thick neck that this guy has. I love how these are kind of like ears and they're kind of pointing out more too, but they don't look out of place either. The little nostrils, I remember working on that a little bit. The, the, the teeth jutting out like that is a fun addition. Just just really, really fun stuff. And then one more here. We've got so many. Here's another one that, again, size increase has happened. So it's now, I want to say this is like 30% larger. Um, it, actually quite a bit larger here. Again, just the crispness of all this detail looks so, so good. It was important that these teeth show up. So I think when I, when I first saw the sculpt, these teeth didn't show up super well on the final one, right? It was mostly just a line. So having these teeth go up and down here, again, super important. Having his eyes with his, his brow like that and the eye will define good, the nostril looks good. Um, these right here, these two um, main kind of horns were defined a little bit to make sure that they do stand out a little bit. You kind of see that, right? Com compared to the rest, that was important. All these look good. The stupid dust stuff. Again, uh, I like the the ones that are like coming up. You know, it definitely looks like almost like quills, right? That you're seeing, um, like really thick quills. You can look at the texture of that. Oh, just so good, so good on all of these. Ah, oh, awesome. Again, having the claws really wrap around there as he grips all of these. 
very important. That's something that we defined a little bit more as well, uh, just so that each one is kind of really, he's holding on to the ground, you know, ready to lift up, pounce, do whatever it is. The tail coming around here and curling up here looks great. I think that looks awesome. It looks like it's natural. It's not blending in anything. Everything looks like how it should be. Its thickness is all good. If I remember right, I think this was a little bit of blending here. So that looks really good. Um, yeah, just awesome. Really, really, really good. A lot of fun. That's it, guys. That is that you have now seen. I've shown off the final version of every single miniature of Primal the awakening and i do hope you guys like it i know it was really delayed i have no control over the original sculpt design of anything obviously i have no control over the pricing of anything of course but i will say that these minis are really really good i'm quite uh, proud to say i consulted with them i think uh we did a lot of good work they were definitely willing to put in the time and money to make sure that they're good and i think you guys are going to get pleasantly surprised with just how great they are in your hands they look great uh, that's it. So I had, if you have any questions, of course, feel free to ask. Um, I'll be sure to answer any question you have about it, uh, the process or anything like that. It was definitely uh, pretty involved, took a lot of time, but definitely I think the end result speaks for itself. Guys, that's it. That's all I had. Have a great rest of your day. Take care. Bye guys.